What is up guys, it's T-Russian here bringing you guys another amazing video. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing video for the Nintendo Switch starter kit for the awesome like kind of cover that we got right here. We got this awesome sleeves for the Joy-Cons, like the uh, Joy-Con uh, controller tips basically, and you got some headphones. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool I must say. So today we're gonna to be doing that along with this guy right here, the adjustable charging stand. I saw this and I had to pick it up on eBay. I just figured, you know, I'm gonna be playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu uh, sometimes on the tabletop version and you know, that battery does not last forever. So you obviously gotta charge it, guys. So we're gonna be opening up both of these things kind of to kind of go over them and see what we like, dislike, all that fun stuff. I got my Switch handy right over here. So it's gonna be pretty nice. I'm pretty excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Alrighty. So let's see. Are this? I'm gonna start with you know. I'm gonna start with this one because this one's pretty exciting. So right here, obviously you got that kind of thing right there. So I'm just gonna cut that a little bit. If it wants to work with me, that'd be nice. Okay, come on. Of course, maybe it does not want to open it fully. I apologize, guys. Sometimes I don't want to rip the box open, but I think, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to end up having to do. Oh, and then we got more up here, too. They put some tape up here, too. Whatever. I'm just going to open it like that. It doesn't matter. So, let me just pull this all out. Kind of excited because I, like, even on the back right here, guys, this is kind of what it shows. It gives you a nice cleaning cloth. I, what is this thing? i got to figure out what this little piece is. But yeah, it comes obviously with your Joy-Con covers, you got your tip covers as well, things like that. So basically what it says is soft canvas zipper case to store and pr uh, protect console, includes Joy-Con gel guards and thumb caps. Okay, so I guess they're thumb caps. All right, earbuds uh, and cleaning cloth comes with screen protector and applicator. Oh, uh, so that's the applicator. Makes sense, makes sense considering for that guy right there. So pretty excited though. Um, I always try and have something to protect my um, devices with, like with my phone especially, like I'm rocking the OtterBox case and just, I love it guys. It's, I've had it always on any of my um, phones or tablets and never lets me down. But we're talking about Nintendo Switch stuff, not OtterBox, so maybe in another video, maybe. Okay, so let's just take these things out. So we got these Joy-Con covers, I wonder if they're actually like, good to stay on while it's actually connected. So we'll see what happens. So we got these little ones right here for the thumb caps. And then you got your headphones as well. I don't, I'm not really, I don't really use headphones that much in when I'm playing, but I mean, it will probably come in handy. I might use them. I might use the Apple headphones that I have that came with my phone originally, but hey, either or that's totally fine um i'll try and like kind of give you guys some feedback on if the headphones are actually worth it or not like if they're actually good so right over here we just got the kind of carrying case it comes with its screen protector as well that will definitely be handy and so you got this uh, the cleaning cloth was kind of tucked here into the back but whatever you know it's still pretty nice to have a nice cleaning cloth having nintendo switch's logo on it pretty awesome all right I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, let's take these Joy-Con covers out. They feel pretty good, like it does feel like it's made a decent quality, like pretty good, I'm not gonna really argue with that. So I got this at Best Buy actually, when did I get it? A little bit ago, I guess, and so it's pretty nice, it's not bad. So I'm just gonna slip these right on real quick. It feels pretty good. They do feel pretty good, like in the hand. It does kind of give some added comfort, I must say. So if you guys are kind of wanting to know about comfort it does feel pretty good in the hand so let's see so we got these all on and they go on pretty smoothly so i can't really complain too much the thumb covers let's see if it wants to there we go cool so let's see, where the other thumb cover go? Oh, it's hiding. So, and it wants to hang out with a cleaning cloth. All right. I should probably turn that off because it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Clicking on God knows what. Okay, so overall putting them on is not too much of a challenge and they actually feel really good. Like when you're actually playing, like 
does not affect anything with the quality. Button layout is pretty good too, you know, like every, and like I'm really happy that they're gray because then it matches it pretty nicely. So just keep that in mind. Like th it does feel really good in the hand and like when you detach them, let me see, where is that button? Is the button covered? So we got that. Oh, so the button is not covered in a way. Well, it is, but it makes it so it's a little simpler and it does feel pretty good in the hand. I must add that. So keep that in mind, guys, that it does feel pretty good in the hand. I'm just gonna slip this guy right back into place. So yeah, overall, pretty good. I'm gonna use that cleaning cloth, clean it up a little bit. Yeah, when it's in dock station, like you can see that little smudge right there and that's just from the dock itself. So I probably will add the screen protector on there. Um, I might even, yeah, I'm probably gonna add that into the video as well so you guys can see the actual screen protector being on it. So, but yeah, let's see how it looks when you actually put it inside the actual container or like the uh, protective uh, cover and all that stuff. So, seems pretty good quality though. Like, it does feel like a really good fabric quality and all that stuff. So you just slip it right into there, like so. And ta-da, pretty good. Like I, I do like the covering. Um, I'm not crazy, crazy about fabric cases, but at the same time, like I don't really ever plan on bringing this thing out and going around the town with it. I really don't plan on it, but if I did, I might use this thing. Like, but overall, like if this, like, to put this in like a backpack or something, like it's pretty good. I must add that. Um, I'd probably even go with like one of those hard shell um, cases that you can really kind of beat up and everything to give that added protection. But for someone that's just starting out with a Switch and doesn't really plan on ever bringing it anywhere else other than home or going to like a friend's house or something or something simple and you ha you're not having to travel far, this case is perfect for you. It really is. Hey, I'm sure that you could go across country and this thing would still hold up. Just as long as you take care of your stuff, things will last. That's how I look at it. So overall though, it is pretty good. I do think, I think I paid like 20 bucks for the whole kit from Best Buy. And it seems pretty good guys, I must add that. So I'm gonna cut the video, I'm gonna get that screen protector on and go from there. All right guys, so as you can see right here, I have, gotten the uh, screen protector on there and all that stuff it took me like maybe a couple minutes maybe like five minutes tops to kind of make sure that there were no bubbles I think I got one that's just kind of being a stubborn pain in my butt but I mean hey what are you gonna do nothing's you can't really like it's kind of really tricky when it comes to these screen protectors but at the most part like I got it on and like I'm trying to just show you all of that and like the quality like the screen and everything like it looks pretty good in my opinion like it doesn't even look like there is a screen protector on it, which honestly, it's kind of hard to come across a screen protector that doesn't look like it's actually on there to begin with. So it blends in pretty nicely. It's not thick. It's not overpowering. Like it's not overpowering um, the actual display itself and kind of muffles out the color. So overall, I think it's pretty good. So I'm gonna just turn the brightness up. Why not? Yeah, perfect because then you can just lower it and all that stuff. So yeah, not bad. Okay, moving on to the next thing right here. So we're gonna be opening up this guy right here, the adjustable charging um, stand. Let's see, oh, so they got some tape right here. Just gonna crack this open. excited to have a couple of these cool accessories for when I get Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu because it's gonna definitely come in handy. I'm wondering do they come with a charging cable? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. So this right here pretty simple. Ooh bowl wrap. Got all of it. Oh it's so nice to have. Okay. Such a small little device but I mean hey I think I got it for like 10 bucks off eBay which was pretty good in my opinion. So yeah, so this is kind of the whole thing, the whole layout. So, you know, obviously that will fold back in, go back out and back in to kind of give you that flexibility of how you want it angled. So I have a 
USB type C charger right here and that's obviously what it takes on the side so I'm just gonna plug that in so it clicked right into place pretty simple so I'm gonna slip that right in at the bottom and you're gonna see in a second here that it's gonna start charging I don't know if I gotta press down right there. maybe it's fully charged maybe it is fully charged and so that's why Let's give it a shot. Hold on one second. It's all the way in there. Maybe. I, I'm using a different kind of port to charge. So that might be the reason. Let me see. Maybe if I detach it. Hold on. We'll see right now. Maybe it's just not a strong enough power uh, supply. Could be why. I know I was charging my controller pretty well right here. So, let's see once more. Hmm. Give me one second, guys. I'll get right back to you. Hey guys, so I just finished looking at this and trying to figure it out. So basically, you need to actually use the one that came with the switch for the, uh, the cord. I just tested it out. The one I had that I got with my uh, controller and all that stuff, that USB Type-C cord does not work apparently for this piece to actually help charge this thing. So you actually do need the power brick that came with your Nintendo Switch, which is kind of dumb in a way, but I mean, hey, what are you going to do? Um, but yeah, just so you guys at least know that that's kind of what they're asking for whenever you um, want to use it for... Um, charging because like I mean it looks pretty nice it comes together pretty nicely and all that stuff so yeah like it's pretty nice when you're like when you detach it and you want to play and all that so I really recommend this product as long as you have a free uh, charger that came like another charger that came with the switch it'll work out pretty nicely for you guys um yeah other than that I'd say this product is pretty nice like it holds it up pretty nicely and you can adjust the settings um, to it which are pretty nice like yeah I think it even goes that 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 like that further down so overall a pretty sturdy little piece of uh, like a little accessory right there um, yeah guys cannot complain one bit well I hope you guys enjoyed this um, unboxing and like review of all the products that I just opened up if you guys have any questions, comment down below. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. More videos will be coming to you guys. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. Um, yeah, guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one.